Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is back in China, and she is pressing Chinese leaders on the threat posed by overcapacity. Uh, she says that China is overproducing exports like EVs, batteries, and solar panels, which distorts global markets and harms workers. Now, China, especially through state-run media, dismisses this notion. Uh, Yellen is making two stops on this visit, Guangzhou and Beijing. Today, she's in Guangzhou. Um, she is meeting with members of the business community, as well as Chinese leaders, including the Chinese vice premier, He Lifeng. And this visit comes right after that phone call. Um, U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping on Tuesday, they had that call, their first direct talk since November, the APEC summit. And in that call, she criticized Biden's moves to, quote, suppress China's trade and tech development. Now, China's trade and tech development is in focus today in Guangzhou. In fact, ahead of a meeting with the governor of Guangdong, we heard from Janet Yellen. Take a listen to this. Building a healthy economic relationship requires a level playing field for American workers and firms. This includes the issue of China's industrial overcapacity, which the United States and other countries are concerned can cause global spillovers. That's the key emerging word, overcapacity. Now, the Biden administration is concerned that Chinese subsidies, um, subsidies designed to revive its weak economy, they will spark a glut, a flood of low-priced Chinese exports. Uh, Chinese state-run media, including Xinhua, has dismissed such concern, calling it hype. But it's important to note that the Chinese premier acknowledged that overcapacity is a problem. When he delivered, I'm talking about Li Qiang, when he delivered his March 5th work report, the National People's Congress last month, this is what he said. Let's bring it up for you. He said, the foundation for China's sustained economic recovery and growth is not solid enough, as evidenced by a lack of effective demand, overcapacity in some industries. We will strengthen coordination, planning, and investment guidance for key sectors to prevent overcapacity and poor quality, redundant development, unquote. Now, Yen's current trip is a follow-up to the meeting she had last year in July, when she had those direct and productive talks with Chinese leadership. In a speech she recently made in December, she emphasized the need to, quote, responsibly manage this critical relationship.